Hey everybody, welcome back to the Civil War. Well, he disappeared. I was gonna be, I was gonna be zoom in and be like having him doff his cat to you. His cat to you? <laughs> his hat. I like to wear a cat on my head. It's festive. Sometimes he poops down my shirt, but who cares? Hello, kitty poo poo. Uh, welcome back to the war. The war has driven me mad, apparently. We're just waiting now to get some more of our armies built up, and then we want to go on the offensive and probably decommission some units, too. Ooh, we're getting closer. We got 75,000 troops. The enemy's at about 130,000. Let's take a look at the Army of Northeastern Virginia. Yep, you can see these units starting to show up. So I'm going to start... We're the smallest ones. And who are these commanders? I might move some of these commanders over in charge of the new units, if any of these commanders are worth a crap. Okay, so we're going to get rid of Stockton's unit here. They have less than a thousand people. Weapons and supplies are returned to the stock. The commander will be available again. Available again. Volunteer recruits may increase the recruiting potential of their state, depending on the state support. Drafts fill the recruiting pool in full number. We don't... The draft isn't instituted. Uh, there is no draft here in America. There never has been one as of this point. And so we're just going to have these smaller units... Just decommission them. Sorry, Burnside, no unit for you. And then we'll move Buchanan into Hancock's division. We'll let Han oh, what did I do? <laughs> I got confused. I like them to look a little more organized. I just started moving everything at once. I want Ares, one of the big heroes of the battle we had. He's going to be with the first division here. Palmer did an actually a good job in the battle, so we're going to have him replace, I guess, Dury down here. That unit's not around yet. Hey, McClellan, you got a job. Oh, that's great. I love having a job. Just wait until I fire you. Uh, wasn't it Palmer? Yeah, yeah, Palmer. Hey, McClellan, what? You're fired. No, my job! <laughs> That's the second time I fired him. I fired him from the Army of the Ohio, too. In fact, I'm going to go through the other armies a second and just get rid of any of the undersized units if I feel the army is big enough to let them go. Anything under, the like, 3,000, I'm just going to let go. Harney's army, I'm not going to get rid of the smaller units yet. Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> Never mind. I'm an idiot. These armies are starting to look a lot more, I don't know, organized? That's what I want to see. They're really disorganized, but now we've got the divisions nice. All the armies except for Harney's in the West and Custer's are organized in divisions. Custer's army doesn't need a division. In fact, he's almost like a, a core. We can actually unlock the core system for our armies, which will radically change the way they work, but... That's something to deal with later on in the future. Finally, though, it, it took a while to get all the organization, all the recruitment set up. We're going to want to recruit other armies later. You can actually see our recruitment potential number has gone up because of the people that have been freed. If you look at the right, I've also renamed the armies very lazily. Because uh, some were Department of, some were Army of. We're simplifying. It's Army of the West instead of Department of the West. Army of the Ohio. Army of Pennsylvania. Army of Northeastern Virginia. And then, of course, Custer's Army. How many troops they got there? They got 26,000 there. How many they got here? 17,000. What do we have opposite them? About 17,000. It'll be 30,000 strong once all the men are in Andrew's Army. Probably ought to start another army... Because if I could get another army built up here in Ohio, we could try to reclaim West Virginia. And then once, for, once West Virginia is secured, hopefully then Grant would be free to move south. 60,000 guys. We could probably start one more army. Okay, the new army is mostly uh, organized. I'm going to 
take Sherman, and I'm going to put Sherman in charge of it. It's going to be the Army of Indiana, if I can find it in my list. Where is it? I know you're hiding from me somewhere, Indiana. Ooh. Oh, I thought I broke the game for a moment. <laughs> Eerie, Indiana. So McClellan... Oh! It's my third chance to fire McClellan. Guess what, McClellan? You're being replaced with Sherman. And you can see it's only two divisions big. It's going to take a little over a month, almost two months for some of it to get there. So where is Sherman's army, the army of Indiana? It's in Fort Wayne. Insane. Got Fort Wayne. Funding policy one enacted. That's for us. More focus on the Union's economy. Printing new notes made possible. Tariffs to import on, in, or on imports to increase. Economy preparing for war. Alright, I know I want to get a new policy going very soon, but I also want to get Sherman moved. In fact, I don't know if it's worth moving him. We'll move him to Columbus. Because eventually we'll probably have him help with the invasion of Western Virginia. The liberation of it, but it's going to take a little bit for him to get those troops. That, or at the very least, once he has an army there, that should allow Grant to also be free to move south. I want military policy too. Military policies allow military policies. What we're really working towards is the Emancipation Proclamation. And so that's going to take about 44 days to get military policy two done. It's going to be a little bit kind of see that one flag those flags if you didn't realize are armies i'm pretty sure you figured that out that's custer's army right there that's moving towards fredericksburg and maryland and then most of the other armies are red because they've got a giant influx of troops as they're trying to get organized and prepared for war they're going to be a lot of green troops in our next battle whenever that is i really want to move the army of Eastern, northern, northeastern Virginia. This army name needs to change. This army name is too... We should have our own army of the Potomac. There we go. Now we have an army of the Potomac too. A much less unwieldy name. <laughs> now they'll both get confused. Two armies of the Potomac. We got one, too. You don't like it? Ours is better. The Potomac is ours, bastard. You're like, well, we had it first. Your mama had my dick first. Eat it. Won that debate. <laughs> How are we coming along on projects? Do we have any other projects that are close to ready? Once again, it's how far they are with the brown. Uh, well, whatever color it is. Different colors subsidize different things either the next thing we would probably want is weapon production what i'd really like though is either repeating rifles or sharps rifles one of those two is probably worth saving up for because if we can get those deployed we can have a massively increased fire rate because rep repeating weapons exist at this time they're just a lot more expensive, and so militaries were cheap, and they're like, ah, we don't want to spend all that money on the guns, and then we got to spend all that money on the, the bullets. We'll just shoot less bullets. And, you know, that's kind of not beneficial when you're fighting a war. It might be beneficial for the pocketbook. What I'm looking at right now is the kind of blue areas there, because we want to make sure that wherever Custer ends up, that he can reinforce either army. Either the Army of Pennsylvania or the brand new rebranded Army of the Potomac. How's your weapon, or your army doing? Harney, not bad. I would love to have you move down south into Arkansas. Oh no, they have a bigger army down there. In fact, we probably have enough recruits where I can probably get you one more brigade. You, you know what? You've graduated to a point where you can have divisions. How about that? You only get one division. And I didn't mean to put the cavalry there. I like the cavalry unattached. So let's give you... Why is this cavalry scared? 
they just get recruited and they're scared? They see a possum or a skunk? Oh my god, I saw a skunk! In fact, we'll give you just another cavalry unit. We'll give you one out of Kentucky. I don't think we've recruited a lot of Kentucky boys. I'll we'll give you the Maynard Carbine. We don't have a lot of carbines. We'll give, I guess we'll give these guys the Musketoons. Actually, oh, where is it? The Colt Revolving Rifle? It's basically a Colt revolver that they made into a rifle. Those were dangerous because they didn't use bullets, if I remember correctly. I believe they used cartridges with percussion caps. And because of that, if one of the percussion... Or if, if when the chamber went off, sometimes there would be flares and it would set off all the chambers at once. The bullets would come out of the cylinders on the sides of the chambers. And so it would blow people's fingers off the people who were using the gun sometimes. So yeah, we don't want those. Luckily, we don't have those. That was a design flaw with the, the kind of cartridges they used, which were, I believe, paper cartridges. Wait, what the hell is going on? What is this pathfinding? No, 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 no! Oh, god damn it. He's gonna lose a battle because of shit pathfinding. What are you doing, Custer? Why are you going through that territory? Oh. Yes, don't. Don't go that way through it. There's an 18,000 man army right there. Get back on our side of the border. He's like, yeah, I just want to use the railroad through here. I don't think you can. That could have been horrible if he would have engaged with his smaller army against this one. No, no, no. I'll move you piecemeal if I need to. Just don't, don't go that way. <laughs> I don't know if that was bad AI or what. It certainly wasn't what I wanted to have happen. Alright, Custer, get there. We'll position you where I want you to be so you can reinforce both armies. Now, don't do that again. Don't scare me like that, brother. I actually used to reenact with a guy who, uh, he said his grandma went to school with Custer. She said he was an asshole. <laughs> oh, and Sherman's at his destination. He doesn't have any army yet. That's the army of Indiana. It's only him. Him and his stationary. Wait, what's this? Confederate Invasion? Hampton Division? Oh man, 26,000 strong? Oh, uh, where's Grant's army? We might actually have to do something about that. Uh, Grant, I think you're going to have to go counter that. Because Sherman's army isn't going to be recruited for like another month. Don't want to... I don't want to abandon Lexington? Or Louisville? <laughs> Louisville either? Um, but if they're going to try and move into Ohio, we want to stop that. So we'll get Grant moved over there. He'll get over there pretty quickly because he'll be able to use the rail. Leaves Tennessee totally open. Fort Pickens, the siege... The Army of Tennessee, fielding approximately 9,000 men, is deploying and preparing field works. Wait... Where? Is there a take me to button? Oh wait, down in Alabama? Or Florida? South of Alabama? Oh, I don't care about that. But that's not our bigger concern. A much bigger concern is if they try to invade Ohio. Especially an army there of 26,000 men. Sherman by himself can't fight them all. <laughs> you know, Sherman did pretty good in that last fight. But not quite what we would need. I wonder if I should put Sheridan in charge of the Army of the Pennsylvania. We'll see how Andrews does. If he does not do good at this job, then he's going to get replaced. Oh, and Sumner. How much of your army is there? Most of it's five more days for the second brigade. Still gonna be 18 days, sadly, for the second cavalry. 
If his readiness gets a little higher, we probably won't wait for green. Probably set him up for just a small invasion, enough to try and take Alexandria. And then we might send Custer with him to support. Oh, Custer can get a perk. We'll give him the flying column too, so he can move faster, carry more supplies. Man, I hate leaving Kentucky open like that. How is the Battle of Fort Pickens going? We hold uh, the mouse over there. There's a 45% chance of victory for us. That's very unlikely we're going to win. Uh, the fort cannot be... We can't reinforce it really down there. That's so far away from everything else. The plus side, though, that means the, the Army of Tennessee, I think they said, was down there. Yeah. That means the Army of Tennessee is also busy. That's good news. So that, well, Kentucky is temporarily less defended. Come on, Grant, get your army ready. In fact, I would love to go fight these guys. Come on, Sumner. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to go... We're going to send Sumner into Virginia. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Hopefully it doesn't go like the last one. The South still has a significantly bigger army than ours as we're getting our recruits in. The Army of the Potomac, though, is pretty close to the size we want it to be. We just gotta get two more brigades in, one of which will be there momentarily in two days. We wanna capture Alexandria, this red line that you can kinda see. You can already see a little, little, little bit of blue on the side. That will go from blue, uh, red to blue. The blue will keep going across there as we start to take over the town both denying them the resources and making it ours. And Custer, let's have you cross the river too. Oh, you're not really ready yet for that. Oh wait, you better get ready for it. Here comes the army of the Shenandoah, 31,000 strong. Custer, go, go, go. I don't think he's going to get across the river in time. You know what, I hate to do it, but this episode's gone a little longer than I wanted to is the army of the Shenandoah is steaming towards our army of the Potomac. Um, this is where we're going to end it. I don't think Custer's going to be able to get his troops there in time. I hope he can. He might be able to reinforce over the river. Hopefully he can. Uh, if they attack us, <laughs> this will be like the last battle, only bigger. A lot of green troops, because remember, we got rid of a lot of the old units, and we've actually changed a lot of the command structure, so... Better division commanders, but some of the lower commanders are going to be new. I'll see you all next time when we may have a battle.